I'm uh, Nathaniel Horner. I'm a fourth year PhD student in engineering and public policy here at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, prior to coming to EPP, I worked for uh, a while at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, and my undergraduate and uh, master's degrees are in computer science and systems engineering. Uh, well, like I mentioned, I was uh, working as an engineer for a while, about six years, and I decided, or I found that I was enjoying projects that kept drawing a bigger and bigger boundary or scope. Um, and eventually you get away from engineering and more into social and policy issues, and those were interesting to me. So um, I started looking at PhD programs that focused on that, and EPP is a pretty good fit. Um, when I, I started in EPP, my first project was looking at innovation in the wind turbine industry and how um, firms that invest in innovation uh, respond to government policies. Um, after uh, qualifiers, which was a year and a half in, I um, switched topics completely and now I'm looking at energy efficiency in data centers and the information technology sector. I think it's uh, helpful if you've given um, some serious thought to um, at least the types of problems you want to work on, if not a specific research area. Um, the, the clearer you can be about that, the easier it is to hit the ground running here. Um, well, personally, I, I think uh, engineers um, uh, have a, a duty to understand the context of the problems that they work on. And those contexts are not just technical, but they're uh, political and social and economic. And those are the types of issues that, that we study here. Uh, that's the $64,000 question. I'm still uh, going through the evaluation on that one, uh, but certainly uh, students from EPP go into academia and government jobs and consulting and um, all of those options are, are of interest. So you'll have to come back in five years and find out where I am. <laughs>